Welcome to Big Data on Proust, special edition from Hadoop Summit, and one that came to every Hadoop Summit that uh, I ever went to, uh -huh. actually all of them, yeah. Sarun from Hortonworks now. Hey guys. Uh, used to be at Yahoo. Was that more fun? No, of course uh, not. <laughs> well, it's fun in different ways. Right? Yeah. Yahoo is so much about you know one set of use cases. Here mm -hmm. it's so much broader, and you get a view of how Hadoop is changing, not just uh, you know, web to auto, not just it's not about getting people to just click more ads now. It's all about you know going beyond that healthcare, oil, you know, lots and lots of industry, interesting use cases to play with. So it's actually you know, fun in different ways. Yeah, but it's not as big Hadoop environments anymore as Yahoo was, right? Well, Yahoo is still a customer. Yeah, uh, we still get to play around with uh, play around. They and still get call you if it's the still system is down. Me. Yeah, Arun, come yeah. over. <laughs> well, it's uh, thankfully not as bad now, right? Yeah. I mean, you know, how do you, you know in 2008 was significantly different than it is today. Yeah, uh, it's, it's a long all way. All the gray hairs. All the gray hair. I got more than you. Nah, like. no, I'm not sure. <laughs> so, what what are you doing at Holdenbrooks? Well, still, you know, I still. You know, I do engineering. Um, I lead the yarn team. I lead the MapReduce team. Now I've, I'm doing Hive and Tails and lots of fun stuff. Uh, I kind of avoided SQL for a while, but you know, it caught up with me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there's cool new stuff uh, from you guys that you know today. Tell us a little bit more about that. Absolutely. You know, Slider is something that's been sort of very close to uh, a lot of people's hearts. Uh, you know, the, the core folks that, uh, on the yarn team. When we started Yarn, our vision was to do significantly more than MapReduce. And when we went significantly more than MapReduce, obviously we wanted to solve, you know, do things like Dryad. You know, Dryad has been a big inspiration. So we now have Thais, um, and Hive is running on Thais, Pig is going to run on Thais, Cascading is running on Thais, and so on. Yep. So we've got all these data applications. Data will run on Thais? Sure. Maybe. Why not? <laughs> so it's not, it's just not about uh, data applications anymore, right? Mm -hmm. As people put more and more into Hadoop, there are services you're running. You're mm -hmm. running HBase, or you're running Accumulo, you're running Cassandra, Mongo. You're running, you know, we've got partners who are running, you know, analytics apps, search apps, and so on, all on top of, and you want all of that data to go into HDFS, right? Now, as we start, obviously the vision for Yarn was to do all of these in one simple place. You want to throw one compute fabric on your network, right, on your data center, and see how, and manage all of this through it. So what Slider does is sort of uh, helps us deliver on the vision of beyond data applications. Mm -hmm. Slider is a really simple framework at its core. You, mm -hmm. as you can come in and describe to Slider via a simple XML spec. You mm -hmm. can say I want, let's say 10 containers, right? 10 containers run my region, HBase oh, region servers. Okay, one on the whole cluster or on, on the machine? On the cluster, okay. right? And, and say one container for my master, HBase yeah. master. And then you can say in the master I want uh, these software things laid out. Same for the region server. And then you you know bring them up and then mm -hmm. point them to each other. And that's right. pretty much it, right? And, and then and you gets out of the manage way. all the rest. Exactly. And yeah. then if dynamic if, uh, IP addresses and well that's something that you know we rely on uh, things like Docker. Yeah. Right. And that's another one which we're yeah. excited about. Uh, Docker gives us the ability right. to package and do IP addresses and so on. Mm -hmm. um, so what slider is is actually really simple at its core. It's about how make it really simple, dead simple to take an existing service, and picking my words carefully here, pick an, take an existing service and run it on Yarn. Yeah. Right? So th this way we sort of democratize, uh, obviously, data in HDFS. So anybody in the world can access data. But also we also- knows Java and HDFS API. Well, we have you know, REST APIs, right? Everybody in the world knows uh, HTTP, right? And you want to pull a petabyte of data over REST as text encoded, well, Anyhow, let's move on. Let's move on. <laughs> As, um, we we have some shared history here. And there is, um, you know, there's also, that, I mean, there's storage and there's also compute, right? You've got yeah. CPU and memory and, you know, yeah. and IOPS and so on. And you can use that in the context of Hadoop and run whatever right. apps you want, whether it's sure. search or NoSQL databases, run on top of it. Yeah. And we want to make it really easy. Yeah. The last part, so we've talked so much about, you know, so far about deployment. The mm -hmm. last part is management. Right? Yeah. So once you get these bits on, what do you do with them? Right? You want to make it easy to stop, start, reconfigure, all sure. of those things. And that's part of uh, Slider too. Mm -hmm. And the other, other really cool part about Slider is we made it really easy to integrate it into Ambari. Mm -hmm. So not only do you get all this stuff, you also get a nice UI, mm -hmm. and you can write your own, you know, um, Ambari has this new concept called Ambari Views, where you can mm -hmm. customize your UI for your app. Mm -hmm. So you can now customize the UI for the app for the, from a management and deployment perspective. Yeah. So the end story looks, you know, pretty much uh, uh, much more compelling than it was, you know, even 12 months ago. Yeah. 
and why is it XML configuration files? Uh, I thought know. five years ago we got no. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> oh, YAML. We'll yeah. do YAML someday. So, um, so Tess is getting nice up pick. Um, share with us what is really. So there's a lot of confusion. Where's Yarn sitting? What is Tess really doing? Yeah. Where are other things coming Absolutely. in? Where is it separating? Help us to really unpeel the onion. Where is Tess sitting? What is it doing? And why is it so cool? Yeah, and you know, that's a really great question, right? So you go back, you know, to 2008, the first Solid Summit, and you know, Hadoop at that point, right? So for me, MapReduce, we had HDFS and MapReduce, right? And uh, MapReduce for me was actually different things, right? As somebody working in the system, it was to me, at its core, it was a system to manage applications and workloads to mm -hmm. resource management. Then, again, it was also an engine. It was an engine on top of which we built cascading, hit pig, and hive. And finally, it was an API, right? Yeah. Mappers and reduces input formats and output formats, right? So, obviously, the Hadoop 2 stack looks very different at this point. We have mm -hmm. Yarn as the system. It does resource management, workload management, fault tolerance. Yeah. Now I have to pause you and you have to share why did you guys call it Yarn? Oh man. The, fu it's, the, fu it's, the fun story. Uh, when you still worked at Yahoo, right? At, at that Y company. Exactly. Right? Well, it didn't have to do anything with the Y company as much as at, as about how bad engineers are, com are, are with oh, naming we, things. Right? Coming up with names. You know, yet another, right? There's yeah. yet another compiler, compiler, there's yet another everything, right? So we said, oh, let's do yet another one. That was a pretty bad idea. In, in, well, yeah. even at that time, it was a bad idea. We knew yeah. it, right? but engineers and engineers. So we said, it's your, yet another resource manager. And well, that was not even a name, it, right? It wasn't the pet of yeah. another person, no? Exactly. And there's yet another resource manager, and you know, we didn't want to do it. We said, fine, we'll, we'll take the arm. And, and we sort of retrofit it. Bad idea, all of it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But we can't rename all the code now. No, it's too late. Yeah. All right. All right. Right. Sorry. So, so we're talking about. Um, MapReduce was three different things, right? System, yep. engine, API. Now, obviously, you know about the Drive paper. It came out in 2007. Mm -hmm. It was actually a pretty big inspiration, even for Yarn. Mm -hmm. I mean, it showed us that we had to get, I mean, it showed us a model where you could generalize beyond MapReduce and get high-performance SQL, high-performance ETL, and so on. Yeah. Right? So this sort of fulfills our role. It's inspired from Dryad, mm -hmm. and it's basically a significantly more high-performance and you know, a generalized engine. Yeah. In terms of data flow, like yeah. it's not just about maps and reduces, and you then retrofit the SQL query to, to find you know 20 map reduce jobs. Mm -hmm. right? So this can run all of those in a single DAG, if you will, right. a director to cyclic graph. And as a result, because you're not now you're now running one job, A, and more importantly, you're not going to HDFS between the jobs, right? The intermediate right. outputs are not going to HDFS. I, I think that's the biggest that's performance the biggest. picture, right? Exactly. Especially for us, we like. Whoa! Exactly. Well, guess what? If you don't hit the hard drive and straight stream, exactly, loss and, of physics, and that's coming, right? And yep. you know that's stuff that this is going to support. So this is is just that piece. Right? So what it does now is we look at the Hadoop one stack versus the Hadoop two stack. You got HDFS map reduce big or hive, and now in data Hadoop, mirror. sure, data mirror. And in Hadoop two auto, you have HDFS yarn. This is the engine. It replaces MapReduce the engine, mm -hmm. but MapReduce still continues to exist, and obviously yeah. you guys still were on top. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Tests or MapReduce. Yeah. Cool. So, okay, 2014. So this is the sixth or the seventh? Seventh. The seventh year of Hadoop Summit. Yep. We're getting old, man. So, um, All where, 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 where did you saw? Share with us your your observation of the life cycle of Hadoop. Where did it start? You, you touched a little bit on this. Yeah. And where's it going? Um, you know, obviously, the roots of Hadoop, everybody understands, right? It sort of came from the web search companies. It was built for, you know, kind of web search. MapReduce was great at that. Now, obviously, 2008, we held the first Hadoop Summit here. Well, not, not in this location, but uh, in, in, um, in the Bay Area. And 200 people showed up, right? I was joking during my keynote today that I had 200 people the backstage helping set this whole thing right. up. Right, <laughs> it's it's actually changed. And you know, the first one we only had you know a small conference room with some people doing some tech talks, right? And today we're in the midst of this massive conference room. We have Microsoft and you know Oracle and you know Intel and everybody else, right? So the, I think the the cool part about Hadoop is how how key, how quickly it's become. Uh, sort of a key component of the modern data architecture, if mm -hmm. you will. Obviously, you know, as Hortonworks, we believe that you know Hadoop will play has to play nicely with everything else because there's a bunch of investments people have made, both in terms of dollars and in terms of skill sets, and we want to make Hadoop work well with it. 
but we see Hadoop, you know, becoming, you know, more and more key to everybody's data uh, mm -hmm. going forward. And what's what's the next big thing? Oh, so well, we have virtualized storage, we have virtualized computation, compute. virtualized memory. Um, yeah, I mean, why not, right? So we we just announced, uh, you know, a, a work we've been doing. Uh, we wrote a blog post actually a few days ago about what we call as distributed memory in HDFS. Mm -hmm. So HDFS so far is only understood disks yeah. as a storage tier. Yeah. Um, in Hadoop 2.4, we completed the work to make the underlying uh, you know, sort of infrastructure aware that there can be multiple storage tiers. Yeah. Right? And that was the infrastructure part. So you can have spinning disks, SSDs, exactly. and memory. And now you have, well, and different kinds of spinning disks. Cold, disk, right? warm, exactly. hot data. Exactly, right? You have you know, cheap disk, fast disk, you know, yeah. enterprise grade disk, SSD, memory, and you want to manage all of these in a, in a consistent and coherent manner. And yeah. that's where Yarn comes in. Yarn can help right. you manage the memory and you know, all of that stuff. That's cool. So it's, it's exactly, I mean, it's, you know, it is still Hadoop, right? right. But it looks so different than yeah. in, from 2008. It's it, pretty it, cool. It's getting cheetah legs, the old elephant. Yeah, it's getting faster, isn't <laughs> yeah. it? Yeah. Cool. All faster and, you know, it's, going, it's taking more load too. Yeah. yeah. Cool. cool. Thanks All for right. catching up, man. Good to see Absolutely. you. Absolutely.